never surprised with certain things, words that are uttered or stated with uh, some other biographers, royal biographers, if I'm to say, some royal writers who, of course, we all know their main aim, their main goal has always just been uh, to hate or not uh, the Duchess of Sussex. It's like her being in that family or it's like her ever since she got married to that family kind of just made them never be the same again. Because tell me why uh, Boa has this old story. The bullying investigation into Duchess Meghan could get revival. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised on my side. And I'm like, you know what? Of course, yes, it is going to get revived. Ask me why. My answer comes about Megan is about to start another venture, another one that will increase her visibility, her popularity, goodwill and income. Ventures that that will further serve to separate her fat ties and brand from the royals and help and help set her own narrative and path forward so we end surprise if they are yet to kind of bring it back because they are yet to even hurt her because of what she's about to do because of what is ahead trust me you they're going to get pissed off because she's gonna get more visibility popular more and more in terms of uh, you know income we don't even have to talk about that because we know very well she is truly chasing the bag and she is after the bag and for sure she will get it. They had her for reasons they know best. I've never ever known why. I personally love Harry and Meghan and I'm like you know what this crap needs to stop. They need to bring it to an end. It will bring out everything out in the open and sure that there is no there there. Because why are they doing what they're doing? Asking people to do their jobs properly. But not uh, bullying. Why? But anyway, it was started, or this is something I've grown up knowing, it's always started. A good tree is a, is that one tree that, trust me, your stones will be thrown at you over and over and over again. And these are even words that are in the Bible, the Holy Book Bible. The good tree is that one tree that will be thrown stones on over and over again. Why am I saying this? This tells you that Duchess Megan has something that they are lacking. This tells you that they are jealous that Duchess Meghan is somewhere where they are not. And they are not ready to just bear the fact that, you know what, Duchess Meghan is better than all of them. Because tell me why just a jar of germ seems to be torturing them. Seems to be making them get terrified on daily basis. For what apparent reasons? And for what purpose do they do what they do? This is clearly a targeted attack against Meghan Markle by the monarchy. That's what they keep on implying to us. They do not come out for this, of this look in God. It's them telling the world, telling the public that, you know what, we're getting ready. We're putting our staffs together and we'll be out there doing what, hating, bullying, harassing, abusing, creating lies over and over again because that's one thing they've gotten better and better in doing. And watching such people over such age having to say such things, I'm like, you know what? What God thing should we have or should we expect that will come out from the UK? They bullied Megan. Not on the other way round. They bullied, bullied him. As for Borer, have the police checked his hard drive yet? That's somebody's comment questioning about the same. Because they really, really have made that woman go through a lot. And they bring us back to the whole point of, you know what, Duchess Megan has sacrificed 
allowed for her to be still living or being where she is at the moment, she has had to just persevere a lot. Duchess Megan will put them to shame and they won't believe this. Of course, trust me, I always tell myself, I just want Duchess Megan to put these people in their place and finish them off. And that will be enough. We will just have, you know, raised our hands like, you know what, we done. We done. They're just showcasing their desperation for attention. They've never stopped and they don't know when they are planning to stop. They just always stand to look for trouble over and over again. They just need to go get a life and start over again. Because just look at the bullying that Duchess Megan had to go through. Gives you all the reasons to just want to say that, you know what, they never deserved her. And Duchess Megan doesn't have any at whatsoever, no good reason to go back. That particular toxic institution that has the authority to stop all this, but just there watching everything that she had to go through. This is one thing people have noticed over and over and over again, and they're making it just kind of keep on capturing people's attention. Why the hat? Why the bullying? And Bohr having this whole story, the bullying investigation into Duchess Megan could be revival. I'm like, you know what? Those people are just something else. More than a week, a month, Cohen gave a couple of interviews to the Sydney Morning Herald. Cohen was a longtime aide to Queen Elizabeth. Then a right as Cohen was about to leave back in Hampalors to move into private sector, Queen Elizabeth asked Cohen to stay on and work for a six-month transition period as the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex's private secretary. Cohen ended up staying with the Sussexes for about a year and a half. She left the Sussexes just a few months before they left for Canada and eventually Sus exited out of the UK. In Cohen's April interviews, she basically left the impression that she was interviewed as part of bullying investigation into Megan's conduct and that the Sussex has had a high stuff turnover. I also got the impression that she didn't enjoy her time working with the Sussexes, but she wasn't part of the palace-driven campaign to destroy them. That's an article according to Kazem. Given everything we have seen over the years, no one has ever provided one single piece of evidence or even the unaccord and verifiable story of Megan bullying anyone. She's never done that, but it always has been the other way around. She has been bullied to the point of her losing her baby, to the point of her feeling suicidal, her mental health being damaged beyond repair. She has never. And I know she has no time for such. How does one even start? It's always just vibes, racist, and she made me feel bullied claims. No one has ever explained exactly what Megan alleged did or said, which had pushed white women sobbing hysterically or on the verge of nervous breakdown. In quote, she wanted a specific kind of flower for her wedding. That's not Bole. She looked at me in a meeting also. That's not Bole at all. And uh, she sent a 5 a.m. text to Jason while she was traveling international. No mass. We trust Tom Bora to try to make a meal out of Cohen's interview. We ain't surprised. He wrote a new screed in the mail about how five years after the factor bullying claims were created, Cohen's interview could breathe a new life into the smear campaign. I'm like, you know what? Let them do what they feel like. Because at, at this particular juncture, once Warren decides to start thinking about all this, they have no evidence, they have no reasons whatsoever to do what they did to Duchess Megan at no particular point. 
because I believe Harry, Meghan are people who understand their worth and know how to live with people. Kindness being among the first things that they prioritize. Wanting to treat people equally. There are some people who have taught her service is universal. But hatters always stand to use things, good things especially, to turn them into negativity. Because you know what? That's where they earn their bread and butter. I'm not uh, surprised. But at this particular juncture, this is just uh, sickening. That's from my own perspective. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just let me know on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next 